the music of Roseanne Cash. guest, uh, Secretary of State, or former Secretary of State, to Colin Powell, nominated for Nobel Peace Prize, fellow Corvette owner, one of my favorite people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And last night, there was a winner in Dancing with the Stars. I don't know any guy in America that wasn't watching that last night. <laughs> uh, take a look. and I were practicing that all last night, just really? like over and over again. Was, we should show us some, man. Oh, no, well, no. She's, a little, she's shy. She doesn't like that. And music. And, oh, Roseanne Cash. Roseanne Cash here as well. Tomorrow night, Animal Equity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take Thank care, you. buddy. It's good to see you. Thank you very much. Enjoy that Corvette. to the real issues concerning the American people. <laughs> Last night, 27 million folks tuned in to see my next guest win the Dancing with the Stars competition. Take a look. We can now reveal the champions of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Drew and Cheryl! Person. What a cheap ass trophy. I know, that is. it's terrible. <laughs> this is what you want. It sucks. It's 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 it sucks so bad that it's great. You know, it's, well, it's congratulations. Quality. Thank you very much. But, you yeah. know something, I gotta give you a lot of credit. I you know, to go out there and do that, I I, I mean I would I don't, I don't know how you do that. How did you celebrate? How did you celebrate? You um went? went out. You know, there's a rap party and went yeah. out and tried to uh, try to unwind a little bit. I'm sure there was a lot of dancing going on. Yeah. I was doing none of it. Okay. Uh, you know, just my feet are still swollen, so I'm just trying to take it easy and uh, try and catch now, up. Now, Stacy Keebler, that's her name. Stacey now, she Keebler. was sort of the favorite. The, yeah, the, the, uh, the Vegas bookies said that she was oh, the favorite to they win. They were betting on this yeah. in Vegas? Bet on everything. Wow. Absolutely. Now, they said that she was going to win uh, before the competition even started. Wow. And then I think as it progressed and uh, things went along, the odds changed a little bit, but mm -hmm. she was. So, how did you feel when she got kind of booted off? Good. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. That's a very honest answer. Good for you. Um, honestly, for my own selfish reasons, I yeah. felt I felt good because I yeah. felt like that was kind of my my biggest competition, oh, dance okay. wise. Okay. Uh, but you know, Jerry is the fan favorite, and he has been. He's a great yeah. man, a gentleman. Um, so it was a uh, it was fun. It was now a it's time. a live show, which seems even scarier to me. I yeah, mean, was it really frightening that it was live live? Not live on tape, live live. Yeah, we have we had like an eight second delay. Okay. So basically if somebody's top popped open or somebody made a, a bad reference to something, they had yeah. uh, the magic button that they could, you know, block everything out. But for the most part, it was live to the East Coast. The West Coast had a three hour delay, obviously. Um, but it was 20 million people. It wasn't 400, 500 in the studio. It was 20 million people. Oh, I got 27 million. I'll oh, make this correction. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for clearing that up for me, Jay. I appreciate it. No, so it was, it was a little nerve-wracking, but, uh, you know, it was it Because the judges scored the other couple. You got 27 out of 30, right? Yesterday, and they, yeah. And they got 30 out of 30. Yep. So did you feel discouraged there? Was that uh, no, because the week, or the night before, Thursday night, I got 30 out of 30 and 30 out of 30. Okay. And then 27 out of 30. And she got 30 out of 30, 26 out of 30. God, you're into and 30 this. 30 out of 30. It's been my life. It's been my life. How do you I'm get the it? biggest Dancing with the Stars dork in the world right now. I've, well, see, I've this been one because I know you. You're like a guy guy. Absolutely. How do you get selected for this? Do they come to you and you go, what? I, what? I mean, how did they convince you? Did you always want to do this? What? How did this happen? Yes, I always wanted to put on rhinestones <laughs> and go to ballroom dancing. That was a secret, <laughs> secret passion of mine. You don't know how many guys in this town that is their I secret know, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know now. Um, no, it's it's been uh, this thing that's you know it's yeah. been building over time, and and uh, they called my manager and said, hey, we're interested in Drew. Yeah. Uh, I just come back from doing Rent, so right. I guess they they thought I could. Oh, well, sure. okay. So you I had, had platform. previous dance experience. Dan 
Yeah. Anybody that's seen a 98 degree show, no, I have no dance experience. Um, well, how about like your, your, your guy buddies? When you tell them you're doing Dancing with the Stars, are they like, oh, what are you doing? I mean, you just, is it just constant needling all the time? Oh, absolutely. My, my grandmother's husband called me up and said, nice job, Twinkle Toes. Oh. I mean, he's, it's, it's like, it's crazy. Everybody calls up and busts my chops, but you know what? Yeah. They're all calling in also to say, great job. No, I, it, 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 you know, I know how hard that is. I just, I was exhausted watching. I mean, so, so to me, yeah, it's, so how hard did you learn? How long did, how many hours a day when you start this? Okay, uh, when did you start doing this to get ready for? We started rehearsals right around Thanksgiving. Um, okay. And uh, that was kind of our first, our, our, my break okay. into uh, Dancing with the Stars and ballroom dancing. Then January 5th is when we started the show. And for that month, we kind of learned a couple dances, and then it was four yeah. hours a day minimum, four seven a days day. a week. All right, so you're working with her, and she's a pro. Yep. I mean, at some point, you go, oh, this sucks. I'm going to look ridiculous. I, I want out. Did you ever do that? I, I want out. It's I not did that every day. Really? Every day. I was like, this sucks. Why am I doing this? Yeah. But then, uh, you know, it kind of cooler heads prevailed, and, uh, yeah. you know, Every time you go out there and, and you perform in yeah. front of that audience, you're, you're reminded why you signed up to do the show, yeah. why, you, why you wanted to perform in the first place. This baby. That yeah. is the reason. <laughs> and I was stunned. There's no, I assumed you got that and like a million dollars. There's nothing. I you wish. didn't even get a sandwich, did no, you? No, no. A couple crackers and cheese, but that was wow. it, you know? Um, no, it was, it's really, I think that's part of the appeal of the show yeah. is that you don't win anything, really. I mean, it's, that's it's the all appeal for, for, for me, bragging yeah. rights. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the hardest dance to learn? Was there one you just uh, couldn't get? Um, we did one, uh, I think it was like week five, week six, it was the Samba. And uh, it was the Christina Aguilera's Dirty, which is a great song, right. but you know, there's this whole hip action thing. And yeah. for anybody who watched the show, my problem has been my shoulders and my hip action. So you Yeah, I these... thought your problem was hip action as well. Remember yeah, Kevin, these... Kevin and I... <laughs> yeah, Kevin, yeah, Kevin went with shoulders, thing. I went with hip action. <laughs> so my shoulders were up and my hip action was a little, uh, a little shaky. But uh, other, other than that, they were all fun. You know, the Thriller dance to the Pasa Doble, that yeah. was fun. The freestyle, you yeah. know, the cowboy one, the Brokeback Mountain dance that everybody liked to walk out. Um, now, did you get fun. injured at all? Were there any... Uh... Yeah, I, I pulled my, my hamstring. I pulled muscle in my back. You know, I got a busted nose. How'd you bust your nose? I got an elbow. She elbowed me in the face. Wow. <laughs> Women. Wow. No, nah, she was doing a spin, and literally she just took out... I mean, you can't miss it. Yeah, it's, it's there. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's she, uh, yeah, it you was know, good. Nick wanted to come here last week and salute you, but I, we couldn't, that would be rigging the vote. Yeah, I think standards of really practice would have had a problem with that. He, he was really in this. No, he's, he's been a huge supporter of the show from, from week one, and uh, I think people are surprised at how close we are, but yeah. we've always been like that, just okay. now it's kind of in, uh, in people's conscience. Okay, now people could, could kind of get online and vote, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, were you recruiting people? You out, you know, handing out flyers, hey, vote for me? See, I couldn't, I couldn't officially do it, so I got yeah. my wife to do it. Oh, she did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, and how would she do it? She, uh, my entire email list got an email every Wednesday night. It had to be the same time Wednesday night because she's superstitious. So the entire email list getting an update of what was going on, maybe a picture from the week before. Oh, okay. You know, just trying to encourage people. My cousin put up something on MySpace, you know. Everybody, you know, it's a street team. It's called the Drew Crew, by the way. Yeah. So they, uh, they were representing. They did so what job. happens now? You can't top this. You go into retirement? You uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, oblivion, what happens? I go buy a pickup truck and I go buy a farm. You know, well, there you go. go. Go live on a farm. Well, congratulations, buddy. Good job. Thank Good you job. Drew Lachey, be right back with Rodan Cash right after this.